Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. The legal battle for rapper Megan Thee Stallion when it comes to her record label has taken a turn, leading up to the American Music Awards set for this Sunday, November 20th. The savage artist born Megan Pete has been granted a request for a restraining order against 1501 Certified Entertainment and her distributor 300 Entertainment. The Plan B rapper claimed the label unlawfully hindered her ability to exploit, license or publish her music for the upcoming American Music Awards, according to Billboard. Court documents obtained by People show that ABC, which will broadcast the AMAs, wanted to use Megan's song, Her, off the rapper's second studio album, Trauma Sign, to advertise the popular music awards show. Reportedly, before Meg could accept or decline the offer, she uncovered 1501 was objecting to ABC's use of the song, something her lawyers argued would negatively impact Megan as an artist, as it wouldn't allow her to promote the popular song or provide an opportunity to reach new fans. Harris County District Court in Texas granted Megan's request for an emergency ex parte order, in essence an emergency order, due to there not being enough time to give notice to defendants, hold a hearing and issue a restraining order before the imperable injury loss or damage would occur. Megan's appeal added that the nomination of her for favourite female hip-hop artist would suffer irreparably harm if her music cannot be used in conjunction with her promotion for the MAAs. According to People magazine, attorney Ira Friedman wrote, I believe 1501 might simply be trying to object to use to Pete Megan's music to be used in promotional content leading up to the AMAs because Pete and 1501 have been engaged in contentious litigation for over two and a half years and 1501 simply wants to harm Pete's image and career. An attorney for 1501, Stephen M. Zager, told People the restraining order is a little frustrating. As stated before in court documents, this is not the first time Megan has had issues with her record label. The crybaby artist has filed at least two lawsuits, one filed in February in which she claimed 1501 refused to count her 2021 released Something for the Hotties is an album. The artist's deal with 1501 reportedly expresses that Megan must produce three albums to fulfil the obligations of the agreement. In another lawsuit filed in September, Megan is seeking more than one million US dollars in damages, claiming 1501 systematically failed to pay the proper amount of royalties to which she was due, and that the label wrongfully allowed for excessive marketing and promotional charges. As part of that suit, she also accused the label of leaking her trauma sign album. In March, the pressurelicious rapper tweeted that 1501 CEO Carl Crawford repeatedly using his company's money that was supposed to be spent on her on her new jewellery. Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.